I'm Ashley Haas. It's week four in the NFL, baby. We got some really good division matchups this week, not to mention for some of these teams, they might actually get their first win. Some of these teams might get their first loss. Some really great games we had. Let's start things off with a good old NFC East division rivalry. We got the Washington Redskins that are gonna be traveling to the New York Giants. The New York Giants has pulled out their first win and with none other than the backup quarterback, Daniel Jones, time move over Eli. I mean, I have not been on the Jones bandwagon. And I'm still not, I'm not gonna lie. But against these Redskins, the Redskins have just not been proving themselves this year. Even with the Giants star running back, Saquon Barkley out due to a high ankle injury, the spread's three and a half points in favor of the Giants. After that big win, I think the Giants might win this one again. Not on the Jones bandwagon just yet, but I am gonna be this week. So I'm gonna take the Giants for the win and the Giants for that spread, so spread them. Next, let's get to my pick of the week because I cannot believe that the Texans are only a four point favorite at home against the Carolina Panthers who are using their backup quarterback, Kyle Allen, since Cam Newton's still out due to a foot injury. I mean, my mind is blown. This is an easy breezy no brainer. If I were you, Texans for the win, Texans for the spread, spread them. Ash's pick of the week, do it. Next up, good old AFC North matchup. The Cleveland Browns are gonna be traveling to the Baltimore Ravens. Right now the Browns are one and two, just trailing behind the two and one Ravens. The Ravens are favored to win by seven and they are home. Lamar Jackson has been proven himself. So for that reason alone, I'm definitely gonna take the Ravens for the win. I have a feeling this game's gonna come down to a field goal or a touchdown, in which case the seven points won't help you. So I'm taking the points for the Browns for this one. Los Angeles Chargers are gonna be traveling to Miami Dolphins. And the Dolphins are 0-3, looking for their first win. Do I think they're gonna get it? Let's not beat around the bush. They are definitely not getting their first win here. They're clearly gonna try and lose. That's why the point spread's 15 and a half points. So let's talk about that spread. All right, the Chargers are one and two, but they are a way better team than one and two. In fact, Melvin Gordon has decided he wants to possibly come back. He actually practiced with the team this week and he's even traveled with the team to Miami. Hasn't been decided whether or not he will start in Sunday's game just yet, but let's talk about why Melvin Gordon decided to come back in this game. Okay, he has said in interviews that he loves football. Well, if you love football, why didn't you come back to help against the Lions or the Texans? Why against the Dolphins, who is an avidly losing team? I bet you if it was week four and the Chargers were about to play the Patriots, the Rams, or even the Chiefs, you would still be sitting there watching this game from your TV. I am happy Melvin Gordon is back. And yes, if you have a fantasy football league, and he does decide to play this Sunday, you'll know Saturday by 4 p.m. I would pick him up, I would take him, play him, because he'll definitely rack up some points against the Dolphins, but you can fool the Chargers and you can fool everyone else, but you're not fooling me. You came back because it was an easy game. What a great way to break back in. What a great way to prove to your team that you are worth the price. Whether or not Gordon plays or not, Chargers will win this game. And yeah, I think they're gonna cover that 15 and a half point spread. So, spread them. The Oakland Raiders are gonna be traveling to the Indianapolis Colts, and right now the Colts are favored to win by six and a half points. I think that's pretty easy considering it's under a touchdown. So yeah, I'm gonna take Colts for the win, Colts for the spread, spread them. Kansas City Chiefs are gonna be traveling to the Detroit Lions, and it should be noted that Matthew Stafford was put on the injury report list. Relax, he's gonna play, but I would definitely take a healthy Mahomes over a hurt Stafford any day of the week. So since the spread's only six and a half points, yeah, Chiefs for the win, Chiefs for that cover. Spread them. The 3-0 New England Patriots are traveling to the 3-0 Buffalo Bills. Both in the same division, one of these will take the winning spot in their division, and I am so pumped for this matchup. The Bills are home, they have momentum. I don't know if they're gonna pull out the win here. I think I'm gonna take the Patriots for the win, but I think the Bills are gonna give them a run for their money. So, the spread right now is seven and a half points, which I think that's a bit high. I am definitely going to take the Bills for the spread here because, heck, they could even possibly win this. So why not take the Bills at seven and a half points? They haven't been three and all in a while. They've got momentum. They are home. Bills for the points. Patriots straight out. The Atlanta Falcons are hosting the Tennessee Titans. And yeah, this is a matchup I'm eh, not that excited about. So I would take the Titans since they're given four points. It's gonna be a close game, it's anyone's game. I got a pick, so I would take Titans since they're given four points, so Titans for the win. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are gonna be traveling to the Los Angeles Rams, and right now I'm surprised, the spread's 10 points. Way too high, you guys. I'm definitely gonna take the Bucks for the points here. I am gonna take the Rams for the win, but yeah, no, spread. The Seattle Seahawks are gonna be traveling to the Arizona Cardinals, and after last week's super embarrassing start against the Saints with their backup quarterback, guys, 
they are gonna come back with a vengeance. You mark my words, this game is going to be a blowout for sure. So with the Seahawks only a five point favorite, done, easy. I am 100% taking the Seahawks for the win and for that spread, spread them. Up next, an NFC North division rivalry matchup. We've got the Minnesota Vikings, they're gonna be traveling to the Chicago Bears. And right now the Bears are favored to win by two and a half points. Both these teams are two and one, yet both these teams are actually last in their division. That is how tight the NFC North is. And it is gonna be a very good game. I think I'm leaning towards Kirk Cousins away here. So I'm gonna take Vikings for the win, and I get two and a half points, so we'll be doing. The Jacksonville Jaguars are gonna be traveling to the 0-3 Denver Broncos, yet somehow they are a three-point favorited. Nah, I don't think so. Not this week, Broncos. I am sorry you're gonna go 0-4 for sure. I am going with my Minshew on this one. All right, I'm gonna take the Jaguars for the win, and you're getting three points. And I don't care if there's no Jalen Ramsey. I mean, this guy is the excuse king. Clearly, Ramsey wants to be traded, so just trade him. I mean, hey, the Eagles will take him, as long as you don't say you have chicken pox next week. I would love to take him on the Eagles. Jaguars for the win here. And that's gonna bring us to Sunday Night Football. The Dallas Cowboys are gonna be traveling to the New Orleans Saints. And this is the game that's gonna prove whether or not the 3-0 Cowboys are as good as they think they are. They haven't had the hardest schedule so far, so playing against this tough Saints team in a tough stadium, I am definitely gonna be watching very closely to this game. Even though the Saints are gonna be starting backup quarterback Teddy Bridgewater again, last week he did amazing against Seattle. I mean, he really proved himself, stepped it up for the team. This week, they're home, they have momentum, and even though they're going against a very tough Cowboys and a very tough Cowboys defense, I think they're gonna put up some points on this scoreboard, and I have to say, I think that they might win. I think the Saints are gonna give the Cowboys their first loss of the season. Saints for the win, guys. For Monday Night Football, we got the Battle of the Losers. Who will get their first win of the season? We've got the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers have their backup quarterback, Mason Rudolph, in as Roethlisberger's out for the season. So, God, wow. I mean, what an exciting game. Who will get their first win? I think I'm gonna go Bengals here. Guys, those are my predictions. Happy Football Sunday, let's go. Cheers, see you next week.